Hello ladies and gentlemen. This is the introduction to Engineering 103 and first thing I want to talk about is your textbook for the Engineering Graphics Essentials and a downloaded file that you can get that has all the videos for this book. So go to Google, type in this stuff here, search Go ahead and click on the link. Let's see, is it going? Don't know yet. Okay, so this is the web page that pops up. This is your textbook. You have all the purchase options. This is what I want to direct you to, though downloads. Click on that tab. And you will get this. Uh, scroll down. Now, it's the exclusive content that you want. But the exclusive content only comes to people who've registered their book with the unique access code. And this has all the videos about engineering graphics essentials so you will need this file for that this is free to download for anybody this file here okay that finishes engineering graphics essentials what i wanted to say about that so all the assignments you won't have my youtube videos you'll have this stuff for this book her videos are pretty good, well organized. It opens up a web page. So we're going to talk about the introduction, the engineering graphics essentials, or not, not that, just um, introduction to engineering problem solving. We want to learn the knowledge, skills, attitudes, and habits for you to make a positive impact on society. Problem solving. That's our byword. So we're going to learn things like that. We're going to solve problems in a team role and look at engineers' roles in society. Uh, we're going to also talk about academic success and professional success computer aided engineering spreadsheets and math and tools uh, you covered that mostly in ECE 102 we may do a little bit of it here specialized tools again that's probably for other classes other tools SolidWorks I want to talk about that just a second I just started I started off this video with engineering graphics essentials and that will teach you sketching by hand because we're 100% online and SOLIDWORKS is pretty resource intensive, we are not going to do SOLIDWORKS. What we are teaching you, sketching, good sketching, is a good foundation for any CAD tool. It helps you understand what you're trying to achieve with those CAD tools, including SOLIDWORKS. So when you do dive into SOLIDWORKS, you'll know what's expected, the kind of professionalism that's expected. And also in real life, in real industry, a lot of times engineers just draw these sketches we're going to teach you. And they hand them over to a professional draftsperson who puts it into SOLIDWORKS. You don't actually do it as a working engineer, but you've got to produce drawings where they can do it your technician that you're going to hand off your drawings to that they are able to do it they can interpret your sketches and know what to do 
Okay, SolidWorks, going to skip over this stuff. Teams, we're going to work as teams and go through a lot of teamwork skills. Again, this is something that is going to happen in your professional careers. Everything is done on teams. So, uh, we'll go through, we won't do this, obviously. This is designed for a face-to-face -face class, but go, this goes through a team building activity. Now, rules of brainstorming. That is good to talk about. Oh, let's go back. And I want to highlight this. So let's make a big fat highlighter, not a skinny highlighter. There we go. So rules of brainstorming. Wild and crazy welcome. No criticism as people bring out their ideas. No criticism. Be positive. No criticism. No holding back on ideas. You want to get everything on the table. We'll talk about that a little bit with it when it comes to the design process. What we're trying to get to. Uh, no prejudging your ideas or theirs. Wild and crazy welcome. Think of ideas on your own, then put them out. Think as many as you can. Here. Graphic. Brainstorming. We want to get everything on the table use sticky notes just here's idea one here's idea two here's idea three and so forth as we go through our project and i'll send out an email on the possible projects your teams can do but as we go through that um you guys will need to brainstorm on how to solve the problem that the project requires Okay, and I'm going to clear the screen and go on to the next slide. And go on to the next slide. There we go. Study skills. This is a book. It's used by ASU to, you know, goes through the study habits. I'm available. Remember my office hours, four to eight weekdays, and on Sundays usually because that's the date the assignment is due. So I'm always available at the time at the days the assignments are due. Uh, attend classes and meetings, buy textbooks, read assignments, summarize immediately, take notes, reduce your stress, get better sleep, manage your time. Don't distract yourself or others stay on topic when you're in a meeting with other people take notes buy your engineering notebook now you will put all your project related materials into that engineering notebook you will have to present that engineering notebook uh, a week from now that you've you've started it for your project uh, homework on time or early, get onto Canvas. Um, you might need, if you use college computers, this is irrelevant right now because nobody's on campus. But when we are on campus, we'll need to know that. Okay, design notebook. Every team member has their own notebook, but common information is sent to everybody. Document everything. Your meetings agendas, record of meeting, minutes, what you're going to do, decisions, brainstorming, research requirements, decision matrices, uh, Gantt charts, bill of materials. We'll go through all what, what all that stuff is. But I need to see this in your notebook or else you won't get your notebook grade. It's an individual and team memory. And it, you need it for legal stuff. Okay. Everybody has a notebook not formal write everything you do comprehensive all data anything project related somebody take notes on your team meetings if you if somebody says something what did you say let's write it down it's got to go into the notebook name and project title is on the cover every page numbered dated and initialed strike through blank pages 
put a line through it. You don't get to erase stuff. No erasing. You may strike through it, initial and date. You will need an initial and date on each page as well. Page number, initial, date. Page number, dated, initialed. Corrections initialed and dated. If you make a correction later, you can make corrections. That's okay. But this is how to, to note the corrections. No erasing, no erasing, no erasing. No torn out pages. People think you're trying to hide something when you start tearing stuff out. You can attach enclosures to the page. Two points or more. In other words, two staples or two pieces of tape or something like that, at least. Um, a good way to do it is take your, so for composition notebooks, which uh, is suitable for this class, um, a good way to do it is take an eight by and a half by 11 page and fold it over once and attach it to the notebook. Attach one sheet per notebook page, not a whole bunch of sheets. Um, It'll be stored for future reference and it needs to be factual. Design notebook, table of contents, team information. So you guys should have organized that last week. Code of cooperation contract. Go to section 8.2. We'll be covering that shortly. But initially to get started on your teams, skip ahead to that section, read about it, what a code of cooperation is. The notebook has all phases of the design process and here's the 10 steps and all steps and your research, uh, your design, design decisions and so forth. Include hand calculations, test cases, economic models, optimization, plots, tables, drawings, SOLIDWORKS, parts, assembly drawings, uh, meetings, agendas, report, individual and team decisions, decision matrices, any kind of Excel, SPICE analysis, MATLAB analysis, and so on. Everything, in other words. Gantt chart, time management. We're going to get into that. But there's a couple templates on the PowerPoint slides that are in the handouts folder that you have. You have a link to those templates. They're also on the Google site. We have 3D printers. It's going to be difficult in this totally online semester. If you need 3D printing done, you'll have to send me the SOLIDWORKS files. It's slow and expensive. If you can get away without it, do it. Um, good for small custom pieces, though. Uh, and of course, I will review your design. Um, for 3D printing, buy scales, and I show a protractor here, for example. Don't print the scales. Don't 3D print them. Go ahead and glue like a protractor on. Minimize material, and you can assemble pieces, like join something with a PVC tube with, a, with your 3D printed head, and then fasten it with a screw or Gorilla Glue or whatever it takes. Um, so think about assembly of your design. Don't print items that you can buy off the shelf. Okay. And it's not just, it's not just money. It's time. It takes a long time to print this stuff. Tool safety quiz, which being online, you guys won't, um, it's not relevant to you this semester. How to contact me, use Canvas. And also, uh, use this email infrequently. Use Canvas most of the time. Also, remember my office hours. And I happen to have those. I happen to have my window open right now. mesacc.craniumcafe.com Jim Jim Sizemore slash classroom. Okay, so that's four to eight weekdays, and 
four to eight days that assignments are due. So I believe that's the end of this particular slideshow. Oh, computers, that's if you're on campus. And that was the end, and I will end the video here also.